Hello and welcome to Hey Team TV. Good morning. Charlie's in. Charlie's going to get ready to go for delivery. I'm going to get ready to go for delivery. First I've got to get rid, well get off my trailer, heap of pallets. So once that's done I can load up my bales, take that load out, come back. Charlie and I are going to be bailing hay. So, and winter hasn't ended. Yesterday was good though. Yesterday we actually had a shower. We haven't had a shower for ages and we got managed to have a shower. So that was a plus and everything's starting to green up. Loaded and loaded, so I'm gonna get on the road. Good morning, you Royal Shortness. How are you? All right, so I saw you. Well, that was very rude. When, uh, what are you doing today? Don't know yet. I think Big Boss Man says you're gonna be doing pins on the trailer. So, Ad's video will be up in the next video. So, stay tuned, he's got a trailer to fix. As I'm back from one job. I'm gonna go bring a heap of hay down. We have had an unbelievable run on stuff. So it's time to start really emptying sheds. Um, hopefully we don't run out. We've not done before, but we have had a lot more go out than before. But a pro thing that we're seeing at the moment is, especially across the internet, is loads of people getting their animals out, cattle out, blah, 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 and they are selling whatever stacks they got left. So that is possibly, could have an effect on how much we keep selling. Like, it's because it is selling. I'm quite honestly looking forward to a bit of a break. Um, but we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But now, I am going to rag it up the road and bring down one load, get the factory on. At the moment, Charlie's just giving the factory a bit of service uh, with my old man, whilst I'm getting hay down all at the same time. Uh, and then, then we'll start bathing. But once the factory's on, I'm just going to keep pulling hay. So it's all down here and not at the farm where it is at the moment. Now yesterday I was working these two sheds, hence they're both halfway back now. Uh, got a little stack of four foot to go down in, in that side. The woodshed you saw a little while ago is basically empty. Oh, so many gates. I think this one... That one needs adjusting. How embarrassing, drop the cap. Now, Ads and I, at some point, I've got to move all this soil. We have a lot of soil coming from the council. So, these are all road sweepings and stuff. Handy for putting up banks and things. Now, I just thought we'd put here because I'm here. But we had a shower yesterday and it's completely started rejuvenating everything. We 
because basically we have been really, really dry, as I expect, well, everyone has. But what we haven't overly started rolling yet. We've only done three fields that I, well, three, four fields that I rolled when we had the 8330 fast track here the other day. Um, otherwise, it's just only just got too hard. Like, if I come down, we go and have a little bit of soil look. We go uh, have a little dig. Down there, it is rock solid. So, like, see there, a bit of root. You know, that is, there's not a lot of moisture in it. But, it is doing okay. So this field here is a ryegrass mix. Yes, I said mix. We don't do straight grasses. Uh, reasons I may explain some other time, but for now, I'm not going to. Uh, but we have a mix here. So there's multi-diverse species. There's also Italian ryegrass in here. So, which basically adds to volume, adds to bulk uh, among some other things. Uh, here is the Italian ryegrass. Then there's fescues, old wild meadow grasses, a bit of unfortunately Yorkshire fog in here. Um, but you know, it's been native to the field. But the field is looking right, which is good because uh, it has been a little bit worrying on how we've gone from so wet to so dry, which, you know, some, we always, as farmers, probably um, some of you won't agree now, but we always want what we haven't got. So now we've got dry weather, we want wet weather, but not too much. But yeah, if we can have like a day, a couple of days rain, oh, this place would jump. But at least it's got warmer. I've had, I've actually lost the fleece now. Sun's out. Um, and if you've got snow in April, really feel sorry for you. No offense, but you can keep it. I don't want it in there. That had enough of cold. Time, time summer came back. So, I, I'm gonna get this shed out. Maybe one of the other bays in the shed above. Um, so everything's basically starting to just accumulate down at the other farm, ready to go through the factory. So that's my day today. Moving bales. Uh, the hay, the 
haystack to small bales of stuff that's been converted is quite low at the moment. But back to what I was saying, lots of stuff going on the market, obviously everyone's getting a lot of cattle out. So if you've got your, your so if you've got your cattle out, or we'll leave a comment below, or what stock have you got going out to save yourselves bedding costs and feed costs? We are uh, our cows hopefully hopefully will be going out maybe this week, next week. Um, they've got a nice bit of grass to go out on, but I've been waiting for isolators for the top of electric poles. So, or electric fencing stakes, whatever anyone wants to call them. Because uh, they don't make them like they used to. So, I don't know what everyone uses. We've got two types of electric poles. The ones with the isolator at the bottom, with the pigtail at the top, or the ones with the isolator at the top and the pigtail at the top. And the ones with the isolator at the top, they just don't last anymore. Like, we seem to go through um, isolators all the time. You literally drop one and they shatter. So, something isn't being made right with them anymore. We've got old ones which, like, my grandfather would have bought, but they're still going. So, Hotline and Company, sort it out, will you? Gallagher, all of you lot. But as soon as I got that sorted, I shall go out and start paddocking things up, and they can all go out. But at the moment, they're also helping us out because they um, go through all the waste from the factory. And as that's been busy, there's been lots of it, of the like, trashy stuff that comes out. So it's best to uh, go through the cow yard and make the most of it before we just bin it. There's someone there like thinking, oh yeah, but if you put it in a big trailer, you can sell it. Trust me, we thought of that. But we really could do with another big shed to have for room to put a trailer. That's gonna be outside, it's getting wet, it's just pointless, isn't it? But and all I want to do, oh, here's a question for everyone. If anyone has got an old Wrecked doesn't make it much difference. An old livestock trailer, preferably sort of like 12 or 16 foot, which is very, very, very cheap because I'm going to cut it a bit. Let me know because I'm looking for one. I've been looking for one for ages. I've missed out on two. I saw a 14 foot uh, Ife Williams with one. Uh, half an axle not working or so the drums locked on which what I want to do I tear that all to pieces and get it working again we've also got a couple of spare axles from old trailers so worst thing kind of worst I just put one of those on um, because it's something I want to make um, so I am in the market so if anyone knows anyone let me know in the comments below that'd be great But usually this time of year we'd be on, we'd have loads of rolling to do and I start making stuff but I just can't seem to get to it. Which is a bit of a shame really. Well, I'm nearly unloaded. Oh, as you can see there we are. So once I'm unloaded I will go in, check everything's running smoothly. Charlie and then I will pop back up. All at the same time, which you'll see on next video, Adam is fabricating new pins for uh, one of the dung trailers we do. Uh, actually a dung trailer that we don't own. So we own a bunch of dung trailers and hire them out. 
and also will tip other pieces of people's for them. So that's one of them, which adds to the big boss man or something. Else. I don't know how they get on. We'll have to wait and see. But myself and the Rhino, you me. We are. I'll bring him into the shop. He probably. Let's face it. He's a. Uh, it's more desirable to look at than I am. Um, and I'm just going to keep on bringing down hay. Hey, 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 hey. Because as soon as I get it down, I'm more likely to put it through. Mostly because I'm stacking it right in the way of the shed. So I've been massively held up today. Well, not just myself, but me and Charlie. So up there, as you can see right there, there's two bolts on two bars on a hinge point. One of those sided to crack and come off. So one, we had to find it, so it didn't go into bail. That now took that took absolutely forever. You know, needle and haystack sort of scenario. Also, then Charlie and I had to go fabricate one, which fortunately we had some threaded bar, but it took us ages to find this one nut. So, welded a bit of plate on one end, I put a nut on the other end, and hopefully, fingers crossed, that lasts for just a few days until we actually get some threaded bar with two lock nuts on the end to take its place. But, I've still got, so I planned to get three loads of hay down here, still only got one load of hay down here, had a massive stoppage with a pain in the ass. So next, next, in a minute when it's basically it's coming up to five o'clock, it's 20 to five. Five o'clock I'm gonna go get another load of hay. And after I get a load of hay, I might actually have to load up my load from tomorrow morning. So I'm all ready to go. So I am way behind, because usually I would have had it all done by now. But I haven't. So, not going quite plain. So the majority of our hay is all stored on pallets. Voila. Can't reach any more here, so I'm gonna put these up in a second. Um, especially this end here, because obviously we still haven't finished that or fixed that crack in the roof. Yeah, it is still there, still a job waiting to be done. Um, at the beginning of the year, you would have seen that we come in here, we cleared out the first line. Um, so nothing else was getting wet, and now I'm clearing the rest, basically. But finish this shed, and then get on with, well, getting the next ones down. Even though I should have done three loads today, along with having the bailer go in and the factory going, and it hadn't quite gone to basically plan. So, I'll get these up. would like a shower though but you know none of us can be happy all the time if ever been in agriculture now i oh boy, what was i gonna do oh yes i all i've got left to do now is fuel up my fast track uh, get it all set up ready for tomorrow and then tomorrow i'm gonna be delivering but you won't see that because you don't need to see every day they were delivering because that'd be boring uh and then your next video will be his real shortness sorting out 
the trailer that he's been fixing today. So that would be a different video, a bit of mechanics. Anyway, until next time, if you haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. But I'm going to get on and finish my day because now it is quarter to seven and I am running out of sort of motivation, I suppose. But we all get that every now and again, don't we? Well, until next time, see you next one. Cheers.